All right, so problem three on page seven is another case that you might be given. In this particular problem, we are given an ordered pair that we want our ultimate equation to go through. We're also given two points that are on a line perpendicular to that. So as always, my ultimate goal is to find the slope of this equation and the y-intercept of the equation. I'm going to start by finding my slope. So if you're given two ordered pairs of a line, then you can find the slope using our slope formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, using these two ordered pairs, here's x1 and y1, here's x2 and y2. So I'm going to say negative 4 minus 2 over, and then x2 is 8 minus x1 is 0. So when I do those computations, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6, and 8 minus 0 is 8, I can simplify that fraction if I want, which leaves me with negative 3 fourths. Now, that is the slope of the line perpendicular to the line I actually want, which means, which means that I need to get the negative reciprocal of this, which means I'm flipping this over and changing the sign. The original problem was a negative, so my new one is going to be positive. Okay? So that means what I know now is that the slope of my ultimate answer is going to be y equals 4 thirds x and then plus b. And now I'm to the point where I'm doing the same steps I do in every problem. So I'm going up to the ordered pair that I want my line to go through. In place of y, I'm putting 8. And then 4 thirds times my x is negative 3 plus b. When I solve that, 4 thirds times negative 3, you would multiply 4 times negative 3 and get negative 12, divided by 3 is negative 4, plus b, and now I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and I get 12 equals b. So my final answer is y equals 4 thirds x plus 12. There you go. All right, that's exactly.